Hey everyone, welcome to AWS Tutorials. In AWS Tutorials, you will learn about AWS Services. Today, we are going to talk about how you can use Flatten Transform in AWS Glue Studio to flat nested data. So let's get started. So first, let's try to understand what is nested data because people can have different words for this kind of data or different uh, names. So let's, let's establish very quickly what is nested data. So nested data is basically a data within data, data which has, uh, which has got hierarchy. So this JSON example you see over here is an example of nested data where you can see that an ID can have subfields and that can have further subfields and values over there. So this data is nested because data is is hierarchical and it is uh, and it is uh, data within the data data to complete the information. So this is the example of a nested data, and uh, today we are going to learn how you can use flattened uh, transform in AWS Glue Studio to flat such nested data. So let's try to understand. <clears throat> when do you come across nested data in in your in your IT world? So sometime when you are trying to bring data from data platforms such as IoT devices or you are calling APIs uh, which provide rest rest output or even you are working with some kind of uh, document scan data and those kind of things. So th these kind of data generally produce nested data, semi-structured data, which then you want to ingest into data platform. You want to bring that to, to, to data platform. And generally, people uh, bring this data to uh, a typical uh, S3 kind of storage where they can simply go and store the data as an object or you might want to use a document DB or dynamic DB kind of database where you want to uh, store uh, uh, the the data as as a document uh, as uh, yeah uh, so uh, so th these are the scenarios you will come across when you are bringing data from IoT devices, API, or, or document scans to, to your data platform, and you'll find that data is actually nested in nature. So let's work with an example uh, here onwards to understand how this uh, flattened transformation works. And uh, this is the same example I'm going to use into my uh, demo as well. So you can see here, this is the example of uh, a nested transform, where a nested data, where you can see that I have got uh, three rows of record, uh, and this is very simple data uh, where I've got like integer value, which is uh, ID. There could be more other columns like that, but then you have got some nested data as well. So in this case, it is pretty much uh, one level nested data where I see your name field has got first name and last name. But here the contact details field has got phone and email and the phone has got further home phone and office phone. And this hierarchy can go on, but I just simply use this as an example going forward to understand it. So suppose you have this kind of nested data, which you are bringing to your data platform. Now, when you try to catalog this data, the same data, the example data I showed you, if you try to catalog this data in Glue Catalog, your Glue Catalog looks something like this. So you will see that all your um, top level fields will simply have um, uh, string or um, integer or Boolean, uh, that kind of uh, data types. But where you see a nested structure, you will start seeing a struct type data type, so structure or struct type data type. And if you click on, so like in, in, the, in the example I showed you, the name and contact details, both are structure or struct type data types. And you if you expand them, so for instance, if I expand the contact details, it will show you data structure like this, where you can see the contact details has got phone, phone has got office and home, and then further contact detail has got email. And if you see the name one, this one shows first name and last name. So if you try to catalog the data, the, the, the nested data, you will see this structure type or struct type data type uh, being introduced uh, in your catalog. Now, if I try to query this data using PySpark, so suppose I run my PySpark uh, query and populate a data frame. So, so I assume that I bring this data to um, DynamoDB table. In fact, that's what I'm going to do in the demo today. And I catalog this DynamoDB table as a Dozo table. So I'm saying, okay, let's 
read that data in a dynamic frame. Let, let me show that dynamic frame output. So if I see that, this it will show you data like this. So you can see here the data will be um, in a JSON uh, nested format. Uh, and that means that it will be uh, it will be hard to process, for instance, um, because the data is still hierarchical nature. Even within your data frame, your data is hierarchical, but your, your generally your expectation is that your data frame will be like a tabular kind of structure. Uh, well, it is a tabular structure, but if you look at the cell level values, the cell level values are still hierarchical. So you get data something like this, but you don't want data like that. You want data something like this, where you can see here that uh, your data has been flattened, where your, your first name and last name are two different columns, and similarly your email, uh, your home phone, and your office phones are two different columns. So you want something like this. And if you want this kind of simple tabular structure for your data, not uh, not like this, where your cell value is still uh, still a JSON document or still a nested data. Then you need something to flatten the data, to flatten the structure, and that's where your flattened transformation node in Glue Studio comes to the picture. And it is pretty straightforward to use. I mean, like this is one of the simplest transformation I have seen to to be used in Glue Studio. So assume this is. Um, Assume this is a, a workflow you are creating. This is a glue job you are creating, where you are reading data from uh, a table, which is uh, keeping uh, nested data, uh, like like the example I showed you earlier in the earlier slides. Then you can simply call this flattened data uh, transform flattened transformation node, and and then. It, this node will simply transform the data, and then you, sorry, it will simply flatten the data, and then that data you can then write to any of the destination, like in this example, I'm writing it to S3 bucket. So if you look at the configuration of this flatten, it looks pretty straightforward. It has got only one field, which is max level to flatten. And by default, this value is zero. Zero means flat to the top level, flat to, to the root level. But if you don't want to flat to the root label, suppose you want to um, to flat uh, one level below root or two levels below root, then in that case you can enter value like one or two. Then it will simply flat to like uh, level one or level two. Uh, but if you don't do anything, because this is an optional configuration, if you don't say anything, it by default takes value of zero. That means it is uh, flattening it to the root label. So it will simply, if I show you this example over here, it will flat it like this, where simply it has flattened, it has like, if you look at that, this one has got one label over here, and this one has got two labels. It's simply going to flat everything, so it will flat to the root label. So that's a default configuration, but in case if you don't want that kind of flattening and you want uh, flattening to happen at some other level, you can mention value of one or two, and then uh, it will simply flat to that level. So it was pretty straightforward and simple concept. So as I told you, like, um, we can going to see a demo of this particular transformation. Well, nothing rocket science here, but it is very important that you know about this particular transformation available in Glue Studio because in, if you are working with data, some point of time you will come across nested data and you will feel a need to flat your data in order to perform any kind of operations or any kind of calculations or decision based on that. And if you come across that kind of uh, requirement, um, yeah, you need to simply use this uh, flattened, uh, uh, flattened uh, transformation node and it will simply fat data for you. So what I'm going to do in this demo is that I'm going, I'm, I have some nested data in DynamoDB, the same example I showed you earlier, I've cataloged it. I'm going to write a glue job which will read data from the catalog, will flat it and write to the S3 bucket. And then I'm going to show you how does my data in S3 bucket, bucket is going to look like. So let's uh, see this demo quickly. So um, coming to AWS console, in the AWS console, let me show you first how does my table look like. So in DynamoDB, I have got a Dozo table, which has got three rows over here, you can see. And uh, these are the structures of uh, the uh, structures of the um, of my uh, my uh, my uh, rows uh, nested data. In fact, if you want to see it more visually, you can simply say I want to edit it, and you can see basically your labels. So you can see here that um, here I am saying that 
uh, name has got only one label over here la label I mean and then phone uh, contact has got two labels because you have phone and then phone has got your home and office so I have got a nested structure like this so when I catalog this data uh, in glue so I in glue I simply catalog this uh, t t table using crawler into your dozo database uh, then it created a schema like this where your ID uh, is simply a string but uh, the contact details and name both are structure type or struct type. If I expand it I can see what structure is holding so you can see it's the first name and last name and if I click on this one it shows um, yeah, phone, email and then phone has got office and home. So all good. So now what I'm going to do so uh, I create a glue job which will simply uh, take this data and will simply flatten it and then write to the S3 bucket. So the S3 bucket location where I'm going to write the data, this is the location. Uh, so you can see over here, uh, if I refresh it, it should be empty. Yeah, fair enough. So let's write quickly a glue job. So it's going to be very small, small, uh, uh, small, um, video. So uh, I came to Glue Studio. I want to create a visual uh, with a blank canvas. Simply create a glue job. And then in this glue job, first I want to read the source data. So I will use my catalog to read the source data. So I simply go to Dojo DB and then I simply go to Dojo table and then voila, here I have got my uh, data read. Then I go to action and I want to use the flattened transformation. So I simply go a little over here and talk about simply using a flattened transformation. And here I can provide labels of transformation, but in this case, I'm not going to do anything because I really want to flatten it to the root label. And then I simply use a target. And for that, I'm going to use S3 as a target location. And in S3, I say I want my data in a CSV format. Uh, it's okay, let's put a GG format um, and then write down the location. Um, and the location is um, Dojo data set. Here we go, oops, no, not below that in fact. So yeah, user output, choose. Here we go. And I and in case if you're using nested structure, basically you don't get option to catalog uh, the data. Otherwise, I would have loved to catalog it here and show you the structure of the catalog, but uh, nevertheless, uh, um, that's fair enough. And then I, well, you can still run a crawler to catalog it, but uh, you cannot use out of box cataloging. Uh, so then I go to my, so my configuration is ready. I'm reading uh, reading data from, uh, uh, from catalog, uh, from, uh, from, um, the DynamoDB table, I'm simply flattening that structure and writing to S3 bucket. Now, if I go to job details, uh, let's call it um, Dozo flat job. Uh, my IM role will be Dozo, glue role, fair enough. Uh, then I come down, I don't change anything here basically. Um, number of retries are zero, so all good. I simply save it and um, now it is saved. Now I simply run it. So my job has started running. So let's wait uh, when my job finishes um, um, the reading data and flattening and writing to S3 bucket. And once it finishes, I will show you the output. So let's wait till the job finishes the execution. Okay, so you can see the job status has succeeded. That means job has finished writing the output. So if I go to my S3 bucket and if I refresh it, I should see my data. Okay, okay, let's get a lot of partition here. But anyway, um, so let's look at one record. So if I go over here and say I want to uh, query the output data to see how my data looks like. So yeah, it is in a CSV format, comma populated, ggp, uh, yeah. And let's run the query. And if I do that, uh, you can see it has flattened my data. So you can see here name, first name, name, last name, ID, and then you've got contact details, phone, um, home, email, and then these are the values. So you can see it has simply flattened my JSON document into uh, a, a simple tabular structure. And now I can use this data for whatever way I want to use it. So that was what I wanted to show you today. Very simple tutorials, how you can use flattened transformation in AWS Blue Studio to uh, flatten your nested data.
Uh, hope you like the video and if you like, uh, please click on the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. I promise to come back again in a week's time with another such video. In the meantime, please stay safe and have a nice day. Bye-bye.